Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 22, Homework. Solve using any method. Show all your thinking. Number one, study this diagram showing all the squares. Fill in the table. So they've given us some information. Figure one is one square foot. So I know to find area, we do length times width. So that means that, and these are all squares. So they're all squares. So they're all going to have the same length and width. So to get one square foot, we'd have to multiply one times one. So the dimensions of number one are one by one. Now let's look at number four, because it says this is nine square feet, and then how we would get nine is by multiplying three by three. So we know the dimensions there are three. And it looks like number two and number four are the same size. So that would mean that this is also three by three. Now numbers five and six are gonna be one by one and one by one. So one by one is one square foot. So that's five and they gave us number six. Let's see, number three, we can figure out number three because if it's two one by one, that would make it two by two, which is four square feet. That was number three. Let's see, let's look for number two. Okay, so number two here is the same size as number three. So it's three by three, which would make it nine square feet. And let's go on to number seven. So number seven, we can add up. So this is one, that part is three, and this part is one. So that makes it five by five, or 25 square feet. Number eight is one by, this is three, making it four by four, or 16. And then number 11 right below it is the same size. It's four by four. So we can fill in that one as 16. Okay, let's do number nine. So number nine right there, we know the whole thing is five. And just by looking at it, number two appears to be the same size as number 10. So this one's gonna be three by three, making it nine. And if the whole thing was five, that whole part is five, and this part right here is three. That leaves two by two for this one. So four feet squared. So that is how you can use the little information that they gave you to figure out the areas of all of those squares. Number two says that it's just a brain teaser. It's encouraged for you to work together with your family, maybe try to solve it. It's not required element of this homework assignment, so hopefully your teacher didn't say you had to do this part, but it says remove three matches to leave three triangles. So if you don't want me to give you the answer right now, go ahead and pause it. See if you can figure it out on your own. Come back and see if you get what I am about to show you. All right, so pause it if you don't wanna hear the answer. Okay, so the, you need to remove three matches. So the three matches that you could move or just remove to leave three triangles. I'm gonna first get rid of this one. And then this one that's also in the middle. And lastly, this one right here. You're left with three triangles. So you have this triangle, one triangle, Next one, this one, two, and three. 